Hey guys, so I have an emergency light here, which is remote head capable. I'm wanting to run a remote head. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that today and then what type of wire you should be using. This should come with the emergency light. These attach to the board of the light and this use a wire nut to attach to your wire that you're running to your remote head. On the remote head side, there should be at least a couple wires sticking out. This head has a pair for each pair of wires for each head. It's a dual head. So, if we take a look at our emergency light. Let's see here. I have this on a tripod. On the board is actually labeled. The blue wire plugs in there and the yellow wire plugs in there. If yours is not labeled or you're unsure where to connect the wire leads to, just reference your manual. So with the AC power removed from the emergency light and the battery disconnected, We're going to go ahead and attach our leads to the board. Mm, that's not good for the paint. So our blue goes on there. Or yellow. I can find it. Kind of hidden in there. Okay, so they're attached now. Next is the wire you're using to run the head. Um, usually it's copper wire you have to use. It's listed actually on the label right here. Use for remote wiring, use copper wire only. There's a sticker on the inside of the light that says that. So I have copper wire here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the included wire caps, wire nuts. I'm gonna run the uh, We'll do yellow for positive. Twist that around. And then blue for negative. Okay, now that that is attached, let's go ahead and strip down the other side of the wire. Okay, so now the wires are stripped. I am using 18 gauge wire for this. Um, it's just a demonstration, but the heads are 12 watts each. You would have to research the gauge you need for that. So taking our remote head here, I'm just going to wire them all together, both the heads together. I made my yellow positive. Okay, so the wires are all caps. I'm going to move this over here. We'll put that over there. Here's the main light right here. Let me go ahead and reconnect the battery. Okay, so that's reconnected. Let's pull AC power. There we go. And now that is running too.
Those are actually pretty bright as well. That's the brightest of all. Those are 12 volt, 12 watts. This is a whole 12 volt system. That right side's not working. It's burned out. So let me go ahead and pop some LEDs in there. What I'm doing with the system is I'm going to actually remove the heads off the original emergency light and then uh, put LED heads in here, LED bulbs in here. And that is going to, oops, that's going to allow it to run for an extended period of time of about, I believe like 20, around 24 hours. This is a 50 watt emergency light. These are hot. They're only on for a couple of seconds and they're already burning up hot. Okay, let me go ahead and let this cool down. Okay, so I did get the LED bulbs in here. Let's go ahead and put this thing into emergency mode. Yeah, those are brighter than the Yeah, those are a little bit brighter, I can tell. Thank you for watching.